Hey, good top of the morning to you, whosoever. Uh, today's message is on Hebrew chapter 4, verse 8. Um, it's called the resting in God. Um, for if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. Um, there remains then a Sabbath rest for the people for God. For anyone who entered God's rest also rests from his own work, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter the, that rest, so that no one may fall by following an example of disobedience. Um, people ask me a lot, Tony, do you keep the Sabbath? And I tell them every day. And they look at me like, what? What do you mean every day? Well, the Sabbath rest, the Sabbath was a picture of the finished work of Jesus Christ. On the sixth day, God rested. It was, it's a picture of God's finished work on the cross. Uh, to enter that rest, it's not taking a day off. It's not observing Saturday, or fr which is really Friday evening to Saturday um, to dusk, to, to the sunset. But what it really is, is trusting God. Uh, the Sabbath rest is uh, resting on God, uh, His justification uh, for salvation. Um, so this is what Sabbath rest, keeping the Sabbath means. It means uh, uh, the Sabbath, Saturday was meant for the nation of Israel. We're not Jews. Uh, we're Gentiles. Because we're Gentiles, uh, we're able to, uh, to rest on the work of God for us. Verse 12, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. It says, For the word of the Lord is living and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates even the dividing the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrows. It judges the thoughts of the attitude of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God, sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him whom we must give an account. So, not only is God's word a double-edged sword, that's why when you preach the gospel, sometimes it goes... As human beings, we put facades. We guard our heart. We, we, we do things. We don't want to listen sometimes. But God's word is able to, boom, like an arrow, penetrate um, into the heart, the conscience of man. And having the conscience seared, or having the conscience seared, only the word of God is able to penetrate a person who's in rebellion, a person who's uh, not standing on the precepts of the Word of God, a person who uh, doesn't want to hear it, sometimes all you got to say is one word. I've had people, uh, yeah, I've no, had people tell me, uh, you know, Tony, you, you said something to me that really just, it, it, it made me mad. And then later on, they came to me, they, they say they repented of something. I have no, I had no idea that I hadn't even spoken the word to them. So we know that the word of God is, is able to uh, uh, penetrate. Um, when we rest on the word of God, it's resting on the Sabbath in a way, because Jesus is our Sabbath rest. So just remember that God, I like the, uh, the, the, the NC, NCV version, it says, God's word is alive and working and is sharper than a double-edged sword. It cuts all the way into us, where the soul and the spirits are joined. So to enter our joints and bones, it judges the thoughts and the feelings of the heart. You might want to call it a blade of truth. Uh, you know, guys, the Bible is not an ordinary book. Like a surgeon's scalpel, it has the power to slice through the lies to expose raw truth, um, it can pick. A, it can pick a guilty conscience. It could heal a broken heart. Uh, it could uh, open the eyes of them who are blind to God's existence. Uh, the verse in Hebrews is a warning label. I mean, if you if you ever bought a, a Tupac or or a, a CD NWA, you would find explicit lyrics. Beware. Uh, adult content. Well, the Bible has the same thing. Well, uh, don't sugar the God's word never sugarcoats truth. It tells you the it tells you how it is. Uh, uh, it lets you know what's going on, and what are you holding in your hands, and uh, it changes the listener, and, and and leaves the reader with a with a clean conscience. You know, sometimes we got to repent of where we're at. 
because the Bible, guys, is merely more than just a printed book. Um, the Bible itself is the Word of God. The, the, the Bible is Jesus. Um, the Bible says that God worked through those writers in, in, in an extraordinary way. Throughout the Bible, throughout the 66 books of the Bible, uh, the history, prophecy, and guidelines uh, are written. It shows us our past, and it gives us the future. You know, I, when I'm preaching to somebody, I tell people, let me tell you the future. You know, the Bible is the only book that can actually tell you uh, the future. And, and the Bible bats 100%, 1,000%, I'm sorry, battling average. You know, doesn't get anything wrong. You know, the Bible talks about prophecy. The Bible talks about guidelines. The Bible is a living, written word in 600 years or more by 30 different authors in three different languages. There is a consistency in the purpose of God and this plan for mankind. It's all written in the Bible. It's able to help us in our time of need. And as the tribulation gains speed and the world starts collapsing, this is going to be your living word, guys. This is going to be... This is going to be the, you know, you know, you know fresh aroma you have in your car. You know, you turn on the, turn on the AC and ah, it smells good, like pines. Well, in the last days, this this is going the word of God is going to give people hope. It's going to be a fresh aroma compared to the lies that are going to be being propagated by the new world order. It's going to give a lot of people hope. So you make sure you get yourself the word, uh, get yourself an extra Bibles like I have. All my extra money, a lot of my extra money went to buying Bibles. For the tribulation saints. You know, guys, the Bible is just not a reference book uh, about God. Uh, the Bible uh, is an invitation to connect with God in a personal way. Uh, you can learn about yourself in the process. And the more and more you guys, you, you spend time reading the Bible and meditating, uh, you, you start applying it, you start reading it, you start encouraging it, uh, you're walking it in, 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 in a venue of life, and then you look, you're like, well, God's Word says I should do this. And then you do it, and there's wisdom in the God's Word. Uh, and then you have, and then you recognize the Spirit, Holy Ghost, speaking into you, or bringing a verse into remembrance. You know, many, many times, I'll be like doing my own thing, and then I hear the Word of God, a verse spoken to me boom and then I apply it it's kind of like uh, uh, god within my heart telling me this is what i need to do uh, I, and sometimes I, I remember verses i don't remember reading that's how powerful god's word is uh, when we meditate on god's word the holy ghost is able to work in our life encourage us in our walk and be able to walk into venues or areas in our lives that are m missing or need to be purified or 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 cast away you know casting away the the words of darkness you know that you know as sanctification closes what we were you what we're used to doing at some point in our life might not be what where the lord has us today or tomorrow or the next day so we have to be in tune to what the lord has for us get to know god better become better equated with the bible reading one psalm and another and encouraging this is my niece, Neve. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. And, uh, uh, you know, as the Lord uh, uh, gives us strength, uh, may the word of God, which is the blade of truth, uh, be written in our heart and at the right time be able to encourage those walking in darkness or, or discouraged. Uh, so be encouraged. Christians are about to be persecuted in the West. They're bringing up hate speech. Uh, they're making everything illegal that the that the federal government or the it's not really the federal government. It's it, it, it's it's uh, evil uh, uh, entities within the government who are pushing propaganda uh, on uh, the American people. Uh, an elite part of globalists who are uh, don't like the Lord. Uh, who want to become basically become uh, kings and queens of the of the new world order, and everybody else is a slave or a serf, and uh, the only way you can come out of it is if they give you the the the, the, the scepter of recognition. 
You know, we don't need the scepter. We have Jesus Christ. We have the Word of God. We have uh, the Holy Ghost. We, we who have been born again, are able to uh, remember. We're going to be rulers and reign. We're going to rule and reign with the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to be judges. You know, you know, Tony Romo is going to be sitting on the, you know, uh, on a, on a, on a high place with the Lord Jesus Christ in the thousand year reign, and uh, we'll be able to represent the Lord as ambassadors to the, in the thousand year reign. You know, we'll be smart. We won't have a sin nature. We'll have a new body. Uh, we'll be, uh, the Bible says, uh, like the angels in heaven. Uh, uh, don't you know we're even going to judge the fallen angels? Uh, people are going to be living up to a thousand years, guys. A thousand years. You know, we're going to get a lot of uh, things. But they're still going to rebel after the thousand years. You read your Bible. Even when the Lord is reigning in Jerusalem, people are still going to be being born. It's not going to be like a whole different <laughs> world people are still going to be being born and because they're being born they're going to rebel one more time and then satan is going to be set loose again after the thousand years and then after that he's going to be thrown into the lake of fire where the obama and the false base is uh, the false prophet rick warren is uh, so uh, obama your days are numbered uh, uh, at some point the bible says that the, the beast the revelation and the false prophet were thrown alive into the lake of fire I can say this because the Lord revealed to me who you are. And I say this to encourage those around me that, that if the beast of Revelation is rising, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. And he's coming for his church. We're going to be raptured halfway through the tribulation. Uh, I, I believe the tribulation has started. We're living in the last days. It's gaining speed. Uh, the collapse is coming. Uh, be girded, be strengthened. Uh, so in these last, these last days uh, become evident. Uh, to those who want to walk in darkness, uh, store up some food, get yourself a gun, uh, defend your family, you know, don't riot, uh, you know, live at peace with all men. But at the same time, you know, the Bible does give you the right to defend yourself. You know, so be encouraged, be strengthened. Uh, it's the last days. People are living according to their own needs and pleasures. Uh, they're falling, they're falling head headlong, head first into the the B system. Uh, they're buying into the lie. Uh, you got to get get in hand and be in debt to live and then basically they take it all the way at the end so it's all ponzi scheme got none of this you know it's the last days the lord is coming he's coming quickly may you be blessed me may you have a, a great fourth of july i hope there's no false flag or you know the enemy does something because as you read some of these articles in the newspaper uh, there's some, some some good, talented journalists, you'll find out that a lot of our, our, our what we call the boogeyman ISIS is funded by the, by, by the globalists to take away our rights. Uh, they're putting checkpoints on the street. Uh, they, you know, for 4th of July, they stop you. They check for your ID. Uh, they ask you if you've been drinking. Uh, uh, that's against the Fourth Amendment. You know, unlawful uh, search and seizure. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. They don't let you do that. They have canine units. They have uh, they have paddy wagons. Uh, so it's turning into a beast system, guys. Uh, they're even making up. They they even have these machines now that that they put to your window and they see if there's any alcohol, marijuana, anything that they think is illegal. You know, they're basically all they are is a they're they're, they're making money off uh, sin nature. That's basically what it is. You know, they're running around the muck. Uh, man is evil. Man is fallen. Man will. Well, you know, try to try to get away as much as you can. They know it. Man knows it. You know who gave them the right to be ambassadors uh, to uh, the beast system. You know, they're just henchmen to the beast. That's all they are. Uh, come out of Babylon. Uh, understand you're being used. Uh, you're building. You're building up their system. And once they're done with you, you know, you're gonna fall in the ranks with all of us, serfs and slaves. But not me, carnal. I, I serve a living God. My God sits at the right hand of God the Father. And he's coming quickly and, he, and he's my advocate. That he, uh, uh, that he knows and I know that he saved me. And he speaks to me and he guides me and he gives me strength. And he gives me wisdom and uh, words of encouragement. Th that I may pass it on to whoever wants to listen. I make these videos not just for people who want to watch it now. But those tribulation saints in the future. May the Lord bless your day. Be guided, be girded, be strengthened. Uh, Jesus loves you. He died for you on the cross. He shed his blood. 
now sits at the right hand of God the Father. After three days and three nights, he resurrected. Uh, we, 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 we serve a living Savior, not a dead one. Uh, uh, pass that on. Uh, share my message. Uh, uh, God's word is a double-edged sword, able to penetrate to the bone and the marrow. In Jesus' name, amen.